What's up, everybody? Good news. The official automatic CSS UI style guide is now available for Bricks, and I'm going to show you how to install it. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I will say this. There is an issue with older versions of Bricks or existing Bricks installations where if you try to follow this process and you import the style guide, it will not import properly. It will break. Bricks appends a underscore imported uh, text to classes that are already existing in the system. And I don't know all the technical details of the actual problem, but what I will say is only follow this, this process right here and only install the style guide if you are working on a fresh install of Bricks 1.5 and automatic CSS 2.0. That's it. So if you don't have automatic CSS 2.0, if you don't have Bricks 1.5, and if this isn't a fresh install, then I would not follow this process. This, this is going forwards into the future for whatever reason, whatever technical uh, issue there is in Bricks, this is not going to work properly on existing or older installations. So I just wanna make sure that that is clearly prefaced before we begin. Uh, the other thing, you need to make sure that Bricks is installed. This is Bricks 1.5 minimum must be installed and active and the license key must be in and it's all ready to go for you. Automatic CSS 2.0 should be installed. If you follow the setup instruction, instructions in our Bricks setup tutorial, Bricks gets installed first, automatic CSS gets installed second. Once those two things are done, now you are clear to set up the UI style guide. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that right here. So under bricks, we're gonna go into settings. And then under templates, we're gonna go down to the remote templates area and we're gonna type in the URL bricksui.automaticcss.com. So you want bricksui.automaticcss.com. There is no remote template password, so you can leave this blank and we're gonna hit save settings. The next thing you're gonna do is you are going to go to add new pages, and then you can name this whatever you want. It can be style guide, it can be UI. Uh, you can name it style guide and then change the slug to UI. You're free to do whatever you want here, okay? I'm gonna change it to UI, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit publish. Now, I would also recommend if you have a, an SEO plugin, like SEO Press or Rank Math or Yoast, Go ahead and no index this page. This page does not need to be indexed on the web. It doesn't need to be crawled by Google. So it's safe to just go ahead and no index this page. Next, you're gonna hit edit with bricks. You're going to click on the upper right-hand corner. There's an icon that says templates. You're gonna click on that. And then under remote templates is where you're going to find the style guide page. Go ahead and click insert template. And it says, this template contains a theme. Would you like to import it? And you can click the button that says, yes. It's going to go ahead and insert the template. Just like that, everything should be nice and uh, functional. We can view this on the front end just to double check. And there is your style guide. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go back to the admin and we're just gonna test out a change to the style guide. So for example, we can go ahead and change our website's primary color. So we're gonna go to automatic CSS, palette, primary, and we can just choose one of these green colors. Go ahead and hit save. And then check the front end and we're gonna see an update across that primary colors row. So that is it, that is all you have to do. Your UI style guide is now installed. If you have any questions, if you need any help, if you run into any issues, please let us know in the official ACSS support community. Thanks, have a great day.